Look up into the night sky. On a clear dark night you might spot a faint, fuzzy patch. That smudge of light is the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest major galactic neighbor. It's a staggering two and a half million light years away. The light you see from Andromeda tonight began its journey two and a half million years ago. Early humans were just starting to walk the Earth when that light set off. Andromeda, also known as M31, is a colossal spiral galaxy. It's even bigger than our Milky Way. For centuries astronomers have been captivated by its glow and mysteries. Understanding Andromeda helps us understand our Milky Way. It's a dynamic system full of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter. Scientists use powerful telescopes to peer into its structure. Every discovery reveals its complex nature and connection to our galaxy. It's a grand cosmic narrative still unfolding. Andromeda is on a collision course with the Milky Way. It might even be sending us stellar visitors right now. Its scale challenges our comprehension, and its beauty inspires awe. Join me as we explore the mind-blowing discoveries about Andromeda. Prepare to have your cosmic perspective expanded. It's going to be an amazing ride exploring this celestial wonder. Imagine stars from another galaxy, Andromeda no less, cruising right through our own Milky Way. Recent research suggests this might actually be happening. Astronomers, using data from the Gaia space probe, have proposed that some of the fastest moving stars in our galaxy known as hypervelocity stars could be intergalactic immigrants. And their original home? You guessed it, the Andromeda galaxy. These aren't just any stars, they are cosmic cannonballs. Flinged out from Andromeda, perhaps by the supermassive black hole at its center, or maybe from a binary star system where one star exploded. These stars would then travel across the vast expanse of intergalactic space, a journey of millions of light years, eventually reaching and even penetrating the Milky Way. Scientists have run simulations supporting this very idea. They estimate that anywhere from a dozen to nearly 4,000 of these Andromedan stars could currently be residents within our galactic territory. This concept of intergalactic star migration adds another layer to the already fascinating relationship between the Milky Way and Andromeda. Detecting and studying these potential Andromedan stars within the Milky Way is a thrilling new frontier for astronomers. The universe is always full of surprises, constantly challenging our understanding. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this is big. Our Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are on a direct collision course. Andromeda is currently about two and a half million light years away, but it's getting closer every single second. We're talking about an approach velocity of roughly 300 kilometers per second. This grand cosmic merger isn't scheduled to happen tomorrow, or even next year. The full collision and subsequent merging of the two galaxies are predicted to occur in about four to five billion years. What will this collision look like? It won't be like two cars crashing with stars smashing into each other. Space is mostly empty, remember? So, while the galaxies themselves will merge, individual stars are unlikely to collide directly. Instead, gravity will be the main director of this cosmic ballet. The two galaxies will pass through each other, their structures distorted by immense gravitational forces. Stars will be flung out into long tidal tails, new star formation will be triggered by compressing gas clouds, and eventually, after a few billion more years of dancing and merging, a new, larger elliptical galaxy will be born. This impending collision is not just a future spectacle, it's a key driver in the evolution of both galaxies. Our own galactic destiny is intertwined with Andromeda's, a truly cosmic connection that spans billions of years and millions of light years. Andromeda's scale defies imagination. Our Milky Way has around 200 to 400 billion stars, but Andromeda, it has about 1 trillion stars. This makes Andromeda significantly more massive. Its vast number of stars contributes to its brightness and gravitational influence. Each star has its own life cycle and story. These stars form Andromeda's grand spiral structure. New stars form in its gas and dust clouds. Older stars are in the central regions and halo. Andromeda has a larger system of globular clusters. Its star clusters underscore its status as a galactic heavyweight. Section 5. Measuring the behemoth Andromeda's true scale and structure. The visible disk of the galaxy stretches approximately 220,000 to 260,000 light years across. Our Milky Way, by comparison, is thought to be around 100,000 light years across. Andromeda is classified as a barred spiral galaxy, specifically type SBB. 
This means it has a central bar-shaped structure composed of stars, from which its spiral arms emanate. For a long time it was thought to be a classic spiral, but observations from telescopes like NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope revealed this central bar more clearly. These observations have shown that Andromeda likely has two main majestic spiral arms, which are themselves segmented and trail outwards from the ends of this central bar. The nucleus of Andromeda is also a fascinating and complex region. Detailed studies have revealed that it appears to have two distinct components or concentrations of stars very close to its center. The brighter one, P1, is slightly offset from the true galactic center. The dimmer component, P2, is thought to be the actual location of Andromeda's supermassive black hole. Every new detail we uncover about Andromeda's structure paints a picture of a galaxy with a rich, dynamic, and sometimes violent history. Section 6. A Faint Smudge in the Night Spotting Andromeda from Earth One of the most amazing things about the Andromeda Galaxy is that you can see it with your own unaided eyes. Under truly dark conditions, far from the glare of city lights, Andromeda appears as a faint, elongated, fuzzy patch in the sky. Its apparent size in our sky is surprisingly large, spanning an area about six times wider than the full moon. The best time to view Andromeda is generally from August through the winter months in the Northern Hemisphere. In late August and early September you can find it by looking towards the east between sunset and midnight. So, how do you find this celestial marvel? A helpful guide is the constellation Cassiopeia, which is famous for its distinctive W or M shape depending on its orientation in the sky. Locate Cassiopeia and then find its brightest star, Shedder. Shedder which forms one of the points of the W generally points towards the Andromeda Galaxy. Section 7. Unveiling the Island Universe. Key Moments in Andromeda's Discovery. Our understanding of Andromeda wasn't built overnight. It's the result of centuries of observation and groundbreaking discoveries. For a long time objects like Andromeda were simply known as spiral nebulae, and their true nature was a subject of intense debate. The first detailed photograph of Andromeda taken by Isaac Roberts in 1888 using a 20-inch reflector telescope was a pivotal moment. It revealed its spiral structure with unprecedented clarity, fueling further curiosity. A crucial piece of the puzzle came in 1912. The American astronomer Vesto Slipher, working at the Lowell Observatory, conducted spectroscopic observations of Andromeda. By analyzing the light from the galaxy, he was able to measure its radial velocity, how fast it was moving towards or away from us. He found that Andromeda was approaching us at a very high speed, much higher than any object known to be within the Milky Way. This was strong evidence that Andromeda was an independent galaxy system, located far outside the confines of our own. Section 8. Beyond the Bright Disk Andromeda's Hidden Depths and Companions Andromeda is not alone in the vastness of space. It's the dominant member of its own little galactic family. It's surrounded by a retinue of smaller satellite galaxies, gravitationally bound to it and orbiting around it. Another prominent companion is M32, a compact elliptical galaxy. In total, Andromeda has more than 20 known satellite galaxies, ranging from dwarf ellipticals to dwarf spheroidals. These smaller galaxies are like cosmic laboratories themselves, offering insights into galaxy formation and the effects of gravitational interaction with a much larger host. As we touched upon earlier, Andromeda's collection of globular clusters is truly impressive, numbering around 500. These ancient star systems orbit in the galaxy's halo, far out from the main disk. They are like fossils from the early universe, containing some of the oldest stars in Andromeda. Studying their distribution, chemistry and motions helps astronomers piece together the assembly history of the galaxy. The central region of Andromeda, its nucleus, is a place of intense activity and complexity. Unraveling the mysteries of Andromeda's core is a key area of ongoing research, promising to reveal more about how galactic centers evolve and how supermassive black holes influence their host galaxies. Section 9. Gazing into the future. New telescopes, new discoveries for Andromeda. Our exploration of Andromeda is far from over. In fact, we're entering an exciting new era of discovery, thanks to the development of incredibly advanced astronomical instruments. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope with its unprecedented sensitivity and infrared capabilities are poised to revolutionize our understanding of our galactic neighbor. 
JWS can peer through the obscuring dust lanes of Andromeda, revealing details about star formation, the composition of its interstellar medium, and the characteristics of its oldest stellar populations in ways never before possible. Future observations will focus on many key questions. Astronomers want to create even more detailed maps of Andromeda's structure, tracing its spiral arms and its central bar with greater precision. They aim to study individual stars within Andromeda in much greater numbers, analyzing their chemical compositions to understand the galaxy's chemical evolution and star formation history. The search for planets orbiting stars in Andromeda, or exoplanets, is another tantalizing prospect though incredibly challenging given the distance. Scientists are also keen to learn more about the outskirts of Andromeda, its vast stellar halo and its system of satellite galaxies. The impending collision with the Milky Way also remains a major focus. The journey of discovery continues.